Hi friends, welcome to Career Matters Academy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the details about the APSET notification 2024. Andhra University has issued a notification for conducting the APSET exam. Andhra Pradesh State Eligibility Test. What, are this, what is this State Eligibility Test and who are eligible? These details we will see in detail. Let's start our discussion. This is the notification from Andhra University on behalf of Government of Andhra Pradesh. So I told you about the full form for this uh, AP set Andhra Pradesh State Eligibility Test, right? So it is given in the uh, picture. Oh, I have taken this from the official website. It is 28th of April is the date of the exam. So there are around uh, two and a half months for our preparation. So what is this uh, exam? It is for uh, promotion of promotion and recruitment of lecturers, lecturers and assistant professors for lecturers or assistant professors both are same same salary only the name different so it is for recruitment so nowadays it is uh, it became mandatory for recruitment in the universities and colleges in the universities universities as well as colleges universities and colleges also for both it is needed so any other details so exam fee is 1200 for uh, general and uh, that uh, 1000 rupees and 700 for uh, other categories you can find from the picture there and uh, date of uh, uh, submission of online application starts from 14th of this month, 14th of this month. And last date is, remember the last date, 6th March 2024. 6th March is the last date to apply for this exam. So look at this subject. There are only uh, 30 subjects in this AP set. It is different from one state to another state. Suppose if you are uh, looking for other states, there are uh, different subjects. In our state, that is uh, in this Andhra Pradesh state, uh, they, we got the approval from UGC only uh, for this uh, 30. Only for this 30 subjects. Look at the subjects. If you are doing or if you have done your post graduation in one of these subjects in one of these subjects are related subjects then only you are eligible to appear for the appear for the ap set exam i'm repeating again if you are doing post graduation and you, you are in final year or if you have already completed your post graduation in one of the subjects in this 30 or related subjects, then only you are eligible for this eligible for this episode exam. So if your subject is not here, if your subject is your post graduation subject is not related to any of these 30, then you uh, need not to apply for this exam. It is not suitable for you then you need to appear only for UGC net or CSIR net okay so what is the eligibility so I uh, in the last slide uh, we have seen this uh, 30 subjects right so in that uh, post graduation eligibility is 55 percent of marks if your uh, result already declared so 55% marks is required for the uh, uh, for appearing for this exam or else if your result is uh, awaiting 
you, if you did not get your result, uh, semester result, final year semester result, then also you can appear for this exam. Provisionally, you are allowed to uh, attend the exam. Even though if you are final year, you are, your result is awaiting, you can apply. But you will get the certificate only, you will get the certificate only after the uh, result. Only when you uh, submit the provisional certificate that you got this much percentage in your post graduation, then only you will get the AP set certificate. So uh, in, in my case also, uh, I wrote this exam in my final year. I did not uh, get the result at the time of writing this exam. So, so I went after uh, taking my provisional certificate from, from the university and I submitted that provisional certificate and I took the AP set certificate from the Andre University. So even though if you are final year, you are allowed to appear for the exam if your result is awaiting. So these are the important dates. So notification, February 10th, already notification given. And uh, online application, you start applying from 14th of February. 14th of February, last date for online application. You see the last date, 6th March, and with fine of 2000, uh, it is 16th March, and uh, with fine of 5000 rupees as registration fee, 30th March. Downloading call ticket, April 19th. Only 10 days before the exam, they are giving us the hall tickets. And date of exam, this is so important. You remember this date of exam, 28th April. Exam pattern. Exam pattern just like, uh, uh, like net exam only. If you know the pattern of net exam, same is there. There are two papers, uh, paper one and paper two. Paper one is, uh, is of how many marks? 50 questions. Each question carries two marks, then 100 marks. Okay. And paper two, how many questions? Objective questions. 100 questions, two marks, so uh, in the 200 for paper two. So if you get uh, uh, more than 50 percent, uh, 50 percent days of marks in this exam, like uh, 150 around, you, you can clear this exam. And uh, this is very easy. Uh, it is not difficult like net exam. Set exam uh, always being an easy exam when compared to the uh, the level of questions we see in the night exam is only difficult, that is all India competition. It is only within the state, so difficulty level also uh, easy. I feel uh, I have seen uh, two, three exams. This is uh, and compared to night exam. This uh, exam is uh, a little bit easier. So you can easily crack if you uh, prepare for this next 80 days, if you plan properly. So and uh, See, uh, for which lang uh, subjects it is giving uh, language, see the medium. So usually if you are uh, familiar with the English, then no problem. Here it is Andhra Pradesh. So first paper will be in both languages. So in net exam, uh, you, you, you see that English uh, language and Hindi you, you find usually, right? So here in Andhra Pradesh, AP said, so we have two languages, suppose reading comprehension, they give one passage and you need to answer those uh, questions below the para paragraph. So that is reading comprehension. So he here, reading comprehension you get in English as well as in Telugu also. Like that in the first paper, you get the questions in English, one side and uh, on the right side, you will get in Telugu. So you will get both uh, bilingual paper, bilingual paper, it is uh, online exam, okay. 
bilingual paper so if you are not comfortable in the english you can uh, read the telugu question paper and uh, um you can write uh, you can uh, solve uh, by understanding the telugu language also so that uh, for parts paper both languages so telugu and english so for some subjects they are also giving bilingual look at this commerce economics education history political science public administration and sociology will be in bilingual okay english and telugu remaining subjects in english only except hindi sanskrit telugu urdu maybe uh, they will be giving in the uh, particular language only okay it is about the second paper for second paper also bilingual for the few subjects for remaining subjects usually science subjects are in english only so this is about the exam pattern it is easier uh, when compared to the uh, when compared to that uh, net exam net exam you usually see every six months there is a notification see uh, I, I forgot last time uh, when was the uh, government uh, conducted this uh, set exam so it is a uh, good opportunity don't miss it 14th is the start date for the online application you can give an attempt so only 55 marks if you are having in your post graduation then you are eligible for this exam so it is the official website apset.net.in so I hope you will prepare this next 80 or 90 days for every exam. If you have any questions or uh, uh, ideas or suggestions, you can write them as a comments. Thank you. We will meet in the next video.